My name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. I believe this is episode 13 and in the last episode we had our first couple of deaths of the series. Thanks to the Wall of Flesh. We actually took down the Wall of Flesh. We are now in hard mode, but unfortunately my celebrations were a bit premature and I didn't magic mirror away in time and I died after, so that was kind of dumb. But as you can see, I've got the majority of my stuff back and some of you correctly pointed out the fact that I didn't manage to get my ammo back. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is we are going to buy ourselves a whole butt-ton of ammo because, you know, we're in hard mode now and all we have to our name in terms of, well, semi-decent weapons is the Phoenix Blaster and the Molten Fury, okay? So we're pretty good in terms of bow ammo. We just need to try and get some more bullets. So let's go find the arms dealer. CV selling the old silver bullets. He is indeed. There we go. Let's buy a bunch of these. Oh, he's selling a shotgun as well. I don't think I've ever had a shotgun in this game. Hmm. I'm genuinely trying to think. Hmm. I feel like I haven't ever had it. I know I've had a tactical shotgun, but in terms of a regular shotgun, no. Pretty sure I haven't. That might be worthy to get. I mean, if it's like a box shot, you know, it spreads a bunch of bullets per time, then uh, this thing might be pretty good. There we go. Intimidating. Plus 5% velocity, plus 15% knockback. Interesting, interesting. Right, let me go ahead and buy a bunch more ammo. There we go. So we have a total of 1,333 ammo bullets. Awesome source. Okay, uh, should I attempt to reforge this thing? It might be a bit of a gamble considering we've got something okay. But I wouldn't mind having something that gave me a bit more damage. 12 gold? Oh man, this is the only reforge we can do. Here we go. Ruthless. Hey, that's better. Oh, okay, that was pretty lucky, actually. That was pretty damn lucky. We no longer need the mini shark for now. Obviously, once we defeat our first hard mode, well, once we defeat our first hard mode boss, we can, of course, upgrade this thing to the mega shark. So that's why I bought that thing, and that's why I'm keeping it right in there. So we have a shotgun, a phoenix blaster, and of course the old molten fury, and we should be good to go. Now. One of the things I did, pre-hard mode obviously, is we went fishing and as a result we have some of these things, wooden crates. Now the reason why I always save the crates until the beginning of hard mode is because of this. Yes, you can see that right there, six adamantite bars. Didn't even have to go mining for them now, did I? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, but you guys don't think of that. Well, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually do, let's be honest right here. <laughs> Oh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was you guys who taught me to do that in the first place. <laughs> oh, wait, can this make any ranged weapons? It can make a repeater, but I don't believe I've got enough. Hmm, interesting. We have some cobalt ore, which is interesting. We still don't even know if we've got adamantite cobalt or palladium or orichalcum or anything like that just yet, because, of course, we haven't broken any demon altars, and that will be something I'll be doing in today's episode, so don't worry your faces. Uh, should I take this just in case? Nah, I think I'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I'm just trying to think of what else I need to uh, do. I need to try and get a bunch of stuff. So I've got a molten pickaxe, which is good. So we can mine ourselves our hard mode ores. But I think the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the crimson. We, of course, don't have a crimson. Uh, well, on the entire right hand side of the map, which is kind of weird. Where's the hallow at? Is that the hallow? Oh, there it is. It's pretty small, isn't it? <laughs> I like how a blooming interferes with a blooming snow biome. That's kind of dumb. So we, we've got like a really freaking small surface halo. That's dumb. I don't like that. Uh, what's this? An anchor? What the hell does this do? Ooh. Okay. Basically a big ass flail, which we are not allowed to use because of course you can see it uses melee damage. So let's put that in there. There we go. And uh, I guess without further ado, it is time to go. Now, obviously, one of the things I have to do, like, pretty damn sharpish, is try and get myself the uh, first tier of ranged armor, whether it be cobalt or, what's the other one, palladium. Hmm, this should be pretty interesting, shouldn't it? Oh, boy! And as you can see, I'm no longer wearing my fox costume. It is no longer Halloween, so I have no reason to wear the fox costume, nor do I even have the full fox costume anymore, because I lost the blooming breastplate, which is kind of dumb. Uh, there we go. We need to go in here and we need to take down a bunch of altars. So, shouldn't be too difficult, right? Hopefully no one's going to come down here and kick my ass. Oh, right. 
Get killed. Okay, so we've got Palladium in this world. We have Mithril and we have Adamanti. Awesome source. Oh boy. Yeah, get no, I shouldn't be hitting them. Shouldn't be hitting them with melee weapon. Oh my lord. Oh, oh, holy god. I'm not doing that. Hell no. Okay, apparently I just used that twice for some weird reason. Oh, okay. Well, we survived that pretty well, I think. Hmm, pretty nice. The only thing is, this is why I don't like Crimson Worlds. You tend to get a lot less altars in a Crimson World than you do in a Corruption World. Because obviously with the Corruption Worlds, you can get sort of the uh, the flat sort of areas underground under the uh, under the chasms, which tend to be pretty large and have a pretty substantial amount of altars. Whereas with the Crimson, it's just one big windy ass pathway into one big area, which actually doesn't have that many demon altars or Crimson altars at all. So... That really does kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's why I really do prefer uh, Corruption Wads over Crimson Wads. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I guess one of the things we can get... Oh no, we can't have the demon, the vampire knives, can we? Aw oh, man, that's kind of dumb. I guess we can get the piranha gun. You get that from the uh, jungle hard mode chest, right? I don't think I've ever really used that properly before. Don't even know if it's any good. Okay. Apparently the uh, Crimson has taken over, ooh, taken over the entire jungle. That's uh, pretty funny, actually. <laughs> okay, right. Don't worry your faces, I didn't take down all of the altars. You may have seen one in the little area. If you just scroll back in the video, you'll be able to see. I didn't take them all down. Oh, God damn it. Okay, here we go. Here is where we get to test this thing. Oh, my Lord, that does a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, man, this thing's brutal. Here we go. <clears throat> Get shot! Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready, ready. Oh yeah, oh yes. Oh yeah, that's so good. Heart reach potion, awesome. Let's get one of these. Undertaker, horrible chill goes down my spine. Really? Really? Oh boy, hi, how you doing? You want to come over here? Because I'm going to take you out of the game. Boom! <laughs> this thing is so good. Boom. <laughs> oh man, this weapon is awesome. There's a jungle shrine up there. I feel like I should go to it. Will you please go away? I'm trying. Oh god, no. Um. Oh god. Oh, we can get an Uzi, can't we? I still haven't ever had an Uzi in the entire time I've played this game. Can you imagine if we got that in this Let's Play? That would be amazing. Hmm. It would have been even funnier if I actually managed to get it. Just as I said, I would get it. Right. Ha! Ah! Really? Right. What are you? Screams echo around you. Really? That's really terrifying, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> man, the shotgun is amazing. Why have I not been using this before? Really? I'm trying to do very important things, lady. Now, leave me alone. I would like to see what is inside of this chest, okay? Just calm down. Calm down. Not everything is bad in the world. I'm certainly not a bad person, but if you, uh... What's this? A staff of regrowth? I have no need for that. Hey! Boom! Get shotgunned! <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I'm pretty sure one of the accessories you can get from the uh, the archer skeleton dudes is the uh, the quiver. And the quiver, I believe, reduces the amount of ammo you use in the way of percentage. Right, here we go. Got more palladium. Awesome source. Are you for real? Is that really all I have in terms of altars? Man, that sucks. Okay. Doesn't... It have I really not explored the entirety of the side of the world over there? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Oh. Eey. Boom. Dead. Out of the game. All right, let's go home, shall we? I can't be bothered with this crap. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. I guess it's time to get a Spelunker potion out, and it is time to do some important things. And apparently we don't have any Spelunker potions. Okay, let's see in the other chests. Hmm. I'm sure I have some, right? Some? Do I really not have any at all? Oh, wow. That's actually pretty surprising. I honestly thought I had some, but, uh, eh, yeah, honestly not. Oh, one of the things you guys also said is the fact that I should do this. I almost forgot about it completely. Here we go. We can make ourselves a yellow horseshoe balloon. Awesome source. It's a lucky one, so we've got plus crit chance, and we can just put that thing back on, right? Awesome. Nice. Okay. I'm liking that. Okay, what can we chuck away? Don't need that. Don't need that. To be quite frank, I really don't need any of this stuff. Uh, recall potion. Eh, let me just uh, do some stuff here. And, yeah. Organizing inventories and 
freaking whatever that is and regress balls and whatever. Right, okay. What do we need to, uh, what, what do we need in order to make the old Spelunker potions again? We need gold ore. That is one of the things. I'm pretty damn sure of it. We also need some moon glow and I'm pretty sure a bottle of water. Okay, let's see if we got these things. Wait, hold on a sec. There's gold right there as well. Nice! Right, let's see about these potion ingredients. What do we got in here? Moon glow. Nice. One bottle of water. We can actually get some more. Awesome. Okay. Is that actually it? I think I might have got it all. Let's have a look. Spelunker potion. There's one more thing I need. One more thing I need. Is it blinky plant? Is it the blinky plant? Do I need the blinky plant? I think I might need a blinky plant. Or day bloom. It's either a blinky plant or a day bloom. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember from memory. I feel like it's day bloom, actually. Ah, oh, crap. We don't have any day bloom, though. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. There's some down there. God damn it, man. The derps are real today, ladies and gentlemen. I can only apologize for my absolute and utter stupidity. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I am who I am. We have a grand total of... Oh, yeah, I need some more water, don't I? God damn it. Okay, there's some water right over here. Let's go grab some. I should probably make, like, a cauldron or something. Uh, can you make cauldrons? Some sort of water container. I'm sure you can. All right, here we go. All of that. And we need to grab some more day bloom from somewhere so we can make more Spelunker potions. But we will have a grand total of 10 minutes of mining underground. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. Oh, boy. It is time to go mining. Wait, we didn't even need the day bloom. It was Blinky Plan. Oh, man. Ugh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it turns out I am a complete dumbass. <laughs> uh, why do I feel like I'm so rusty at this game all of a sudden? Uh, right, okay, let's go mining, shall we? We're not going to skip ahead. I'm actually going to keep you guys with me. We're going to do a bit of a journey together, my friends. So, let's go ahead and find ourselves some cobalt, shall we? Or palladium, actually. It's palladium in this world, isn't it? Uh, uh, sure wouldn't mind having palladium that's sort of really close to the edge and not in the middle of some big stone mound because you know it takes a long time to get there doesn't it god damn it here we go oh man so just to clarify i'm probably just going to end the episode as soon as the second spelunker person has ran out because otherwise we're probably going to overrun by a lot okay not very often i do full mining episodes now isn't it Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty uh pretty cool to do it every once in a while you know just uh Change it up a wee little bit. Now, just to clarify, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just get as much palladium as I possibly can in uh, in 10 minutes, which, of course, is the duration of the Spelunker potions in total. And if I manage to get enough to make the ranged set of palladium armor, then that will be, like, the greatest thing ever. Uh, I am aware. I did see. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the ass. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh god, oh god, god, no, 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 that just isn't fair, just go away, you pansy, All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, going down, going down, come on man, come on, get down there, stupid mini bit of stone, I need more palladium, there's some, alright, let's go grab this, shall we, I see no reason not to, oh no, big fat ass worms, oh, come on man, oh, this is just going to be a massive headache, isn't it, okay, uh, whoa, Dude, that, that guy almost killed me, man! What the heck? Dead. Dead. Get. Get. I am almost dead! Oh, 20 defense is not enough! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, water. Give me the water. Thank you very much. Right, okay. I really need this palladium. Please allow me to get it. Oh, come on, man. This is just going to be a massive headache, isn't it? If I die again, I'm going to literally rage to death. Right. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no. Not one of them bloody idiots. Right. How are you doing? Uh, uh. Can you, like, die, please? Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go down here. Oh. Really need to heal. If I had a greater healing potion, like, I wouldn't have any headaches at all. Right. Okay. There's some palladium over here. Let's grab it as quickly as possible. Come on, let me in, let me in, man, let me in. Stupid freaking bats. I swear to God, bats are the most annoying thing in the entire world on Terraria. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass. Well, apart from when you're exploring the underground crimson and you just get 
those little squirty floating dudes. You know what I mean? The ones that give you the eye core. Oh, they do so much damage to you. It's actually ridiculous. There we go. A little bit of health right there. So wait. All right. Oh, great. Another fat bat. Come on, fat bat. Go away. Yeah. Oh. Wow, I just one shot that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Sucker. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I gotta calm down, because if I don't calm down, then uh, I'm gonna wind up starting to make bad de decisions. And we all know how that ends. So, if we could not have a bunch of worms spawned right now, that'd be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> get out, get out. That worm almost got me, man. 20 defense is nothing in hard mode. 20 defense is absolutely nothing. <laughs> it really is. It just isn't anything against the hard mode bosses. Well, not hard mode bosses. Well, the hard mode bosses, they'll just kill me in an instant, won't they? There we go. He's dead. Right. Okay. Continuing. <laughs> this is such a frustrating thing to do. With a ranger setup, I mean, with melee, you could at least kill everybody with a pickaxe, so you could just continue mining as you're doing it, but this is just a headache and a half. Okay, and obviously this molten pickaxe doesn't exactly help, being as slow as it is. Uh, okay, we're all good though, we're all good. Our health is regenerating nice and quick, which is always nice to see. How much have we got? We are approaching 120 palladium ore. Right. Okay, and we're about to run out of our first Spelunker potion, so... By my calculations, we should have something along the lines of 250 Palladium by the end of the episode. I don't know. That could be a little goal we can go for, maybe. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, almost at full health. Sweet! And the panic has gone down. It has receded. Oh, hello. Hi, fat bat. Whoa! Oh! Nice! One of the things needed for the Ank Shield. Awesome source. Hey! Yo! Hey! Ah, ah, God damn it! I mean, there isn't any point in you halving my defense because I don't have much defense in the first place, you pansy ass. Oh, okay, you're dead. You, you, you just shouldn't be here. He does a lot of damage, actually. Holy crap! Right, okay. Second Spelunker potion, go. Well, right, here we go. We're gonna go down here. That's adamantite. We do not. Well, we can't mine that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go down here. Fat bat. Fat bats must die. We're not allowed fat bats. Thin bats, they can live, they can live, but not, not, not those. They're just annoying. They do a lot of damage. I don't know why they do so much damage, but they just do. That's just how it is. Oh, okay, it's palladium right here, but it appears to be right on top of lava. So as long as I don't accidentally mine out any of them stone blocks, I should be absolutely fine and good to go, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what the? What? There's a bit of stone right there? Come on, man! God damn it, Terraria, you, you're just trolling me right now. Terraria is trolling me. I swear to God, Terraria does this way too often. There we go. Oh, okay, let's go. Another fat bat. Out the game. Right. Oh my god, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, I love down there. There's something so satisfying about killing the fat bats just with one shot. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's this? Is that emerald? It is indeed emerald. Okay, pretty cool. There's a lot of blooming palladium around here. Holy crap. This is a gigantic vein. That is nice. I'm a fan of this. We can go and grab that other vein, but uh, we do have to be careful when mining that other vein, of course. Because there's lava attached to it. Hmm. Could be kind of dangerous. As long as we're not stupid again. Man, I'll, I don't even want to go into hell right now. I don't even want to go into hell. I've got bad memories from hell. Oh, come on! What are you doing, dude? Come on, man! Get! Get! Duck! No. No. Come on. Come on! What are you waiting for, you pansy? I'm waiting. I'm waiting very patiently, okay? So don't make me impatient. I'm gonna have to come down there and beat your ass. And I don't like doing that, but, uh, you know. Needs must, and all that. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> uh, except I'm not really the fittest right now. Oh! oh my god, did you guys just see that? That was blooming ninja powers right there. Ninja powers for the win. Python is a ninja. I mean, look at me, I am a ninja. I've got ninja gear on. I'm pretty sure that's actual ninja gear in the first place. Oh! 
<laughs> all of doing that. Shoot them bats. Shoot all them bats. And get my revenge on all the bats for being a pain in the ass before. I'm pretty sure they assisted in my uh, in my deaths in the last episode. Pretty sure it was the demons who got me in the finish, though. Look at him over there, blooming demon. What a son of a gun. I hate him. He can go to hell. Literally. I mean, it's not as if it's right below him right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're probably gonna head back up a little bit just in an attempt to find some more palladium because obviously we're now at hell where we now have 255 palladium or can we do this? There we go. Up. Oh. Get out. Man, my aim is just off right now. As in it's literally off. It's bad. <laughs> oh, okay, come on man. Let's get up. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. There's plenty of uh, adamantite around there which is, uh, which is always a good sign to see. Hi. What the heck are you doing up here? This isn't your blooming habitat. What is this, man? Where are you going? Up. Oh. oh. That was easy. Hmm. Oh, he's out of the gate. Yeah. Don't you shoot your little fun guy at me. Oh. Yeah. Truffle worm. Yeah. Well, I couldn't even grab it in the first place. <laughs> yeah, like if he just dropped down into my party. <laughs> he's like, hey, what's going on? Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. <laughs> Stupid blooming worm. What an idiot. Man, I could have tried to get that if I had my, uh, if I had my bug net, but unfortunately I don't have it on me. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't matter too much, I guess. Right. What does matter is me finding some more palladium, so we can finish off the episode on a high note by having a full set of ranged palladium armor. I'm pretty sure it gives us life regen, as well as other things. Uh, ooh, hello. How are you doing? Okay. I imagine this might take me to the end of the Spelunker potion, perhaps. I don't know, honestly. But we should wind up with... Eh, I'm trying to estimate 290 bits of palladium. If we hit 300, that'd be amazing. Pretty sure we won't, though. Because we need 21. Yeah, that's definitely not 21 here. Okay. Oh, man, we're going to get so many bars. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be amazing. There we go. All right, guys, we're gonna we're just gonna head back right now. I think we've done a pretty good job in getting a nice amount of stuff. So let's see what we can get in terms of palladium bars. Mmm, ninety-seven. That's that's not a lot of anything. Oh wait, we need ranged. So ranged, okay. A breastplate right there, and of course the old leggings. Let's put these things on. We currently have twenty defense. What are we gonna have once we put these on? 27. Okay, that's a pretty pretty sizable increase, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay, I guess we can also make a pickaxe, because as proven in my Mythbuster video, pickaxes are in fact faster than drills, so that's always good. And we'll make ourselves... Is it worth making a repeater? I mean, we've already got this thing. I mean, this thing's fully automatic. I guess if we have a uh, good modifier, it'll give us more damage. What's this? Rapid? Eh. I don't know. I don't know. Should we? Should we? I don't know. I yeah. Let's let's give it a try. Lethargic, damaged. Well, okay. Hmm. There's only one thing to do at a time like this. I'm gonna sell you my molten pickaxe, and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna give me awesome stuff, right? Okay. Reforge. Boom. Give me something. I'm done. I'm literally done with this goblin. This goblin can actually go and screw himself. Look at this guy! Blooming Smador. Yeah, that's right. I knocked out one of your stone walls. What are you going to do about it? You going to fight me? Yeah. Go send your minions in, you bunch of idiots. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. We have ourselves the full ranged set of palladium armor, which is awesome. So we have greatly increased life regen and of course, you know, increased range damage, which is amazing. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up right there guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Man, we've overrun quite a lot, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.